So, what do you think of Hannah for the customer service role? Mm, I do think that she has the right experience, Sharon. Hmm, I'm not sure whether the role is right for her, Sharon. Okay. So, Robot, what do you think about her customer service skills? Do you think they're warming and engaging? Human, 173 centimeters, blue eyes. What? Okay. That might be correct. Not what I was asking you, Mr. Robot. What I wanted to know was, do you think she's got the warmth and the empathy that you'll really, really connect with those customers when they come in? That's what I want to know. Body temperature, 37.6 degrees. Room temperature, 25.2 degrees. Humidity. Okay, again, I'm not quite sure if you're following me. Is she empathetic? Will she connect with them? One more time, robot. We'd love your input. That is system error, rapport, relationships. Data does not compute, malfunction. I think, I think he's not having a good day. I think we'll, so we just keep it between us. M malfunctioning, malfunctioning. So today we've had all sorts of fun hanging out with a robot, but it wasn't a real robot. But what we wanted to highlight today was the importance of combining tech with the human side of recruitment and HR. And some tech can be complementary, and some tech can be really cumbersome and inefficient. So if you're picking tech to you know, put within your recruitment HR process, make sure it's efficient, make sure it complements the whole process and speeds up the amount of data you receive and the decisions you actually make. So good luck with tech.